Welcome to Strip Coverlet, where we squeeze the bigger picture out of the literature. I'm Adrian Fort, and we are here for a video which will appear in three separate playlists here on the channel. The first and most obvious, as this is a poetry discussion video, is the poetry discussion playlist, which is rapidly approaching 100 poetry discussions here on the channel, and I will have something of a celebratory video when that playlist hits 100. The second will be the National Poetry Month playlist for 2021, April is National Poetry Month, and I will be doing a uh, poetry discussion every day of the month, and there will be a playlist for those poems. Now, um, slipping my mind here real quick, this month, Mondays have been Langston Hughes, Tuesdays have been Sylvia Plath, Wednesdays have been Charles Bukowski, Thursdays with Emily Dickinson, Fridays with Charles Bukowski, uh, Saturday for Robert Frost and Sunday have been sort of a catch-all day here on the channel. Uh, the third playlist will be a playlist for what matters most is how well you walk through the fire by Charles Bukowski. Um, a playlist as we go poem by poem through the collection. Now this poem titled Mice, it's a rough one. So if you are sensitive to certain um, certain things, you might it's sort of a trigger warning, I guess. But it's a, it's a this one's a this one's a gut punch right from the beginning. My father caught the baby mice and they were still alive, and he flung them into the flaming incinerator one by one. The flames leaped out, and I wanted to throw my father in there, but my being ten years old made that impossible. Okay, they're dead, he told me. I killed the bastards. You didn't have to do that, I said. Do you want them running all over the house? They leave droppings. They bring disease. What would you do with them? I'd make pets out of them. Pets? What the hell's wrong with you, anyhow? The flame in the incinerator was dying down. It was all too late. It was over. My father had won again. So this is uh, a poem which is meant to create some type of core irony. That core irony being how inhuman it is to treat animals in that way, especially in the name of being so human. Uh, what do I mean by in the name of being so human? Well, you don't want them running all over the house, do you? The house is the human place. The house is for us humans, us human family. Uh, you don't want them leaving droppings. You don't want them bringing disease, do you? Uh, we humans, we don't do this. But it is inhumane what he is doing. Um, one of the things that stands out here to me is the speaker's presence in this situation. This is um, obviously... <sighs> This is obviously a situation in which the father has taken it upon himself to toughen the boy up, right? Uh, what does the boy want with these damn baby mice? Anyhow, we're going to show him what it is that must be done. Now, this is um, in the name of being a man, right? This is one of those poems, one of those ideas. What the hell is going on here? My glasses are growing here. This is one of those poems. This is one of those ideas. Let me uh, stiff upper lip, son. We're going to teach you what it means to be a man. Uh, quite the opposite of that, Bukowski relents. So one of the hallmarks of being a man, being strong, is winning. The man wins, right? Um... Here we have the speaker not only being the soft and cuddly one who wants to nurture, but also the one who in the end says, hey, you won, man. Look, I'd do you in if I had the chance, but I'm only 10, so you win. This is not Bukowski, or the speaker. This is not our speaker assuming uh, traditional masculine roles, the traditional masculine 
viewpoints, their traditional masculine bravado. This is not that. Our speaker here. Um, our speaker here is pointing out precisely what it is about his father that leaves him at odds. Which, by the way, if we look very closely at the beginning of this poem, what's the title? The title is The Mice. We're starting with the mice. What's the first word of the poem? My. We have a little bit of ownership here until the second word of the poem. Father. My father. We end that first line again with the mice. So what we have is the idea. We have the thing of the mice. Me and my father. The idea of the mice. We are trapped in between this big idea. It is he and I against one another while the mice are the big thing at hand. The big thing at hand because Buk Bukowski, I keep saying Bukowski, our speaker. Our speaker wants to make pets of these mice, wants to have some loving, cuddly relationship with these mice, wants to be there for these mice, wants to foster these mice. The father says, no, that's not what we do. Us humans, us men, we destroy them. Why? Because they, though they do not aim to, will destroy us. They will bring that disease. They will bring those droppings. They will do that all while running all over the house. This is, so this entire collection so far of what matters most is how well you walk through the fire has been, so far, has been a really nice microcosm of the macro ideas that often infuse Bukowski poems. I say time and again, Bukowski is best read not as poetry, but like a novel. That is, don't sit down and take in one Charles Bukowski poem. Take in five or six, take in seven, take in ten. Set yourself a reading time limit as opposed to a page number, as opposed to a single uh, intake of a poem. Because there are so many recurring themes like this. And what ends up happening through much of Bukowski's poetry is this, is that the masculine ideals are forsaken. Fuck them. Don't need them. Don't want them. Not for me. You want to play those games? Play those games. But this is done in a very cinematic fashion. Oh, yeah? Is that what you think? How about we go outside, pal? And time and again, Bukowski gets his ass kicked. The speaker gets his ass kicked. But sometimes the speaker's doing ass kicking of his own. The problem is we always have to put it on display because we are still in the speaker's world, the speaker is a man. The speaker, as a man, a man who has forsaken most traditional masculine values, needs a platform from which not to be taken advantage, from which of not to be taken advantage. Needs a platform to prove that he cannot be taken advantage of. Needs a, you can't take advantage of him. That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to a proper way of saying that. It's difficult. You can't take advantage of him. How do you do that when he's not the, um, the traditional man? When he's not got a clean-shaven face and a, his 
hair all combed to the side. When he's not, that guy, how do you do that? You've got to put it on display right up front. Hey, buddy, don't fuck with me. Yeah, I like my cats. I'm still a tough guy. Can't you tell from all this stubble? Can't you tell from this cigar? Can't you tell from the bottle of booze that doesn't affect me at all? These are non-traditional masculine values that are meant to put on display the fact that, no, I'm not traditional. Fuck everything that you value. Fuck everything that you want to make your masculinity about. It doesn't matter to me. But you should see these things, and you should know. Don't fuck with me. You can't take advantage of me. That's what's going on here. But, well, that's not what's going on here. That's what will be going on here. What's going on here, in this poem, The Mice, is the budding of that idea. Is the stake being driven into the ground saying, no. If these are masculine values, I don't want them. If these are masculine values, you can keep them. In fact, if these are masculine values, if you want, I'll help you shove them up your own ass. That is what's going on in this poem. Um, I don't think that we should be treating these animals this way. I'd like to throw you into the fire. But I'm smaller than you, so we're going to put that off. I'm only 10, so we're going to let that be. You know, um, my father had one again. That is all I have for this poetry discussion. Again, a poem, a video, not a poem, a video, which will take place in three separate playlists here on the channel. The Poetry Discussions playlist, What Matters is How Well You Walk Through the Fire playlist, and the National Poetry Month 2021 edition here on the channel. I hope to see you here for the next video, but I also hope to see you over on my personal channel, a link to which can be found in the description below.